This is a really, really wild situation. We're talking about gang corruption inside Baltimore jails exposed. And tonight we're learning what was going on and how female guards were actually being used in this corruption ring. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell has the details. It really sound like they came from an episode of The Wire. Behind the bars of the Baltimore City Jail, they called him Bulldog and Tay, but they might well have called Black Gorilla family gang leader Tavon White the boss. Because with the help of more than a dozen guards, it's alleged he made more than $15,000 a month selling drugs and contraband and even boasted in a taped phone call, this is my jail. There were at least 13 correctional officers who were actively participating in furthering the activities of the BGF gang. U.S. Attorney Rod Rosenstein says among several female correctional officers, White has an additional name, Daddy. Four of these correctional officers were pregnant with Tavon White's children. Two of them allegedly had Tavon's name tattooed on their bodies, one on her neck and one on her wrist. The allegations were revealed yesterday with the indictment of 25 people, including 13 correctional officers. The guards allegedly helped the leaders of the Black Gorilla family run a broad-ranging criminal enterprise both in the big house and on the streets of Baltimore. In return, the guards got affection and even luxury cars from Tavon White, among others. For people like Nicole Reagan, who was bailing out a friend today, it's no surprise. It actually is not a surprise to me. That is something that I've heard about pretty frequently. She does admit the alleged love connections are a bit much. More babies than I would want to make with somebody in jail. <laughs> According to the indictment, the correctional officers were smuggling the contraband into the jail right here through the main entrance. They hid the stuff in their shoes because for some reason or another, shoes were not checked. We're told the procedures are changing. In Baltimore, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News.